So, another video on this topic, but I can't, I still generally can't believe it, that people think that Paul Joseph Watson, the guy who pretends to be a journalist, is somehow a reputable news source when he is teamed up with Alex Jones and will shill all manner of ridiculous books to the even, dare we say, tangy tangerine. And yes, there are videos of Watson shilling tangy tangerine. Um, the, shall we say, the energy uh, drink. <laughs> That yeah, it's <coughs> it's it's just absolutely unbelievable, it really is. And you get to the point where you're like, okay, if if Watson is meant to be this moderate guy, what position is moderate? What what position is is he taking that is making you think he's moderate? Because. He still thinks 9-11 was an inside job. He thinks that the Sandy Hook massacre um, <laughs> was a government, you know, set up to, you, to you know, promote gun, you know, bans. He thinks that the, uh, <coughs> you know, 7-7 was a government job. He believes that the Bilderberg organisation is this massive you know, power influential house. Hey, it's, it's, you know, the list goes on and on about his outlandish, ridiculous positions. I'm sorry, but he is not a moderate. And if you think he is, I, I'm sorry, but he's not. You know, if he holds one position that you think, oh, well, that's a pretty moderate position, just because he holds one position doesn't excuse the fact that he is a conspiracy right-wing nut job. It doesn't excuse that fact. He still is what he is. And Watson is a slave to his audience, and he will do anything he can to get views. He will shill whatever he wants to get money. You know... People just don't seem to understand this and it's ridiculous because you can go back and you can watch the videos I made back in 2012, 2013 covering Watson and he hasn't changed. He hasn't changed. He started um, talking about, you know, feminists and, you know, uh, you know being anti-feminist. He didn't do it because... That's what he believes. He did it because he saw an opportunity to jump on the train and get some extra views. But, you know, that's Watson in a nutshell. He's an opportunist, plain and simple. I mean, the fact that you had, uh, after the, again, the recent London terror incident, he did a story about the fact that Tommy Robinson, uh, that the media were upset that Tommy Robinson had come down to the scene and was there. <coughs> Supporting um, Tommy Robinson, the guy who has been continuously for years spouting off, uh, you know, Islamophobic nonsense. The bodies weren't even cold, but there you have a guy who has run down there to push his, you know, race, blatantly racist agenda. And Watson supported him. And it's just... I really do despair at what is... You know, what people think he is a moderate. He is no way in the least a moderate. You are... You know, you are delusional if you think he is a moderate. His positions alone exclude him from holding any sort of central position. But that, there you go. That's the, the crazy world we are now in. But... Uh, 